Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Sindaz here. Heads up, this video is made possible by EA Game Changers. So I want to try to be as direct and to the point as humanly possible because I got a ton to throw at you. Please leave a like if you want me to cover more info on each of these snipers. Uh, and if you found any of the tips helpful, leave a dislike. If you didn't, leave a comment letting me know how I can prove e each of these videos. So you don't quite like the K98 and Lienfeld with that scope just isn't your cup of tea, right? You want something in between. I really don't blame you because these two guns are literally on the opposite spectrum of each other. The solution is the G95. The only thing that would make it the perfect in between would be to give it seven rounds. But honestly, if it had seven rounds, I'd probably never tell you, or I would actually tell you, never to touch the Lienfeld ever again because the G95 would just gain that much more of an advantage over every other sniper. Overall, those who will use this gun will be looking for something more for clean five mans for montages, uh, the better scope, they just don't like the feel of the K98, anything like that. You just literally dislike everything about the Lienfeld, and there's just some tweaks that you want with the K98. So let's dive first by covering the pros of this gun. It's flexible, way more flexible than the other guns, it has a good scope, it has a higher damage value, decent bullet velocity, meaning it's not as slow as the Lienfeld, but not as fast as the K98. Also good bullet drop, meaning you won't struggle like you do with the Lienfeld, because the Lienfeld has more bullet drop. The cons. It has a bad post reload that can be solved with the talent and it really isn't that slow but still it when you're reloading just five bullets it, it takes a little while it also has a slow rate of fire but it's still just a tad faster than the k98 but it's definitely noticeably slower than the Lienfeld. the talents is where the guns can be especially specific compared to the other two you can overcome the issues of the bad post reload that we just talked about and give it that bump over the k98 and improve kill momentum which means it's a good counter to the Lienfeld, but the problem is you lose that on the ads speed and that kind of comes with the first talent we'll talk about that more in just a quick minute and you'll suffer more in those obviously close range encounters it's not impossible though if you got the accuracy i say go for it this gun excels extremely well medium and long range and is not quite as good as the K98, but gives you the more flexibility that you need. If you were close range and went for the lower ADS, you would need absolute perfect positioning to pull this gun off. It's not impossible, just more difficult, and you need to rely a little more on your sidearm. Just want to hit on this before we kind of go talking to the talents, which we're going to talk about right now. So the first talent is literally the trickiest, as we we're just kind of talking about. If you're going strictly mid-range shots, then you could go for the post re uh, faster reload. Just to gain back a little bit more of that momentum that we kind of talk about in terms of kills and if some, you know, avoids that slow follow-up shot once you go through all your ammo because once you go through all of your ammo the enemy's going to know and they're going to push on you and that kind of saves you a little more of that time the downside is you lose that ads speed and again it's 33 percent which is absolutely required for a close range sniping and missing out of that is really going to hurt you now for the second talent literally the better one is able to have improved accuracy while moving you're always going to want to be a moving target because a moving target is harder to kill unless you spec the first tree post reload and you're going more of his mood range or maybe a long range sniper the thing is you can go mid range and still benefit from the sidestepping and be aggressive in your movement but this hands down goes to the choice on the left i would say if you went right aim heavy with the revolver once you hit rank 15 as scout as that is by far the best sidearm to use as a sniper in this game now for the third talent, the easy contender here is with increased movement speed while aiming. Yes, you can have that increased cycling of your weapon, but the thing is, if you're relying this heavily on your sidearm to this point, then you probably shouldn't be running scout. Aggressive sniping is extremely difficult at times, but the sidearm in this game really is just a cleanup tool due to the amount of damage that it does. It's, it doesn't have that damage value to just go full on against an assault player for the time to kill. An alternate, if you know your gameplay, is that you know you can nail the body and require cleanup shots, then this is a solid option. Like we said before, the G95 is a great segue to help you improve your aim and kind of lean you towards aggressive sniping. Now for the final talent. You don't really use cycling and you always aim above the head, right? So you go for the bayonet charge, which makes sense since it's a free close range kill when you're out of ammo. Also complements well if you went with a faster reload and ignored the faster ADS as you will need this as a strong cleanup option. Now if you struggle with bullet drop, you could utilize the talent on the right. Cycling through bullet drop can be very hurtful to your muscle memory and overall learning the gun and also the fact that you're now slower versus someone who has it memorized in terms of just the bullet drop. You can see it in my gameplay as I never change the zeroing. So I'm always going to win because I have the up on the enemy. Now alternate to cycling is permanently going to 150 or 300 and learning the fact that your gun close range you will need to kind of pull up a little bit or I guess pull down so then the bullet can aim for the head. That is a good option if bullet drop is just too difficult for you, uh, longer range and you kind of want that zeroing set ahead of time. This is a jack of trades type of gun. It is not the best essentially at anything but it has some trade-offs if you didn't like about the K98 in terms of overall feel, damage or rate of fire 
and or the landfill just found every stat frustrating in terms of bullet drop, bad scope, and etc. But you want a slightly better rate of fire than the K98. Thank you so much guys for watching by the way. I hope you found these tips useful and also you found the overall place where this gun fits. I will cover the Krag soon as it's next on my list and just kind of a quick heads up as it is another option you can go for in a between gun is downside is you can't use a 6x but it has some interesting ups. But man does it have some major weaknesses and we'll cover that later. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please leave a like. Uh, dislike if you didn't find anything helpful. Leave a comment letting me know how I can improve the videos and I'll see you guys next time.